As you all know, with the recent coronavirus outbreak in Wuhan, China, and other countries around the world, we got like a lot of information being put out there about things. And so we're going to go over this article right quick. It's from a company called Zamax, one of the best in the world as far as like occupational safety equipment and gear that you would need to protect yourself in hazardous environments. So I'm going to look at a couple of professional terms. I'm going to put the link to this article in the description, along with a digital map that helps you track the infection rate around the world. Okay. And I'm going to put another article in the description that shows you where the precursor to this, this strain of the coronavirus came from because the coronavirus itself is a family of viruses, but this new strain is a mutation. Okay. So one thing that hurts us in black society is we don't really have accurate information on a lot of things. We go by hearsay, what we think and a bunch of rumors. So anything on this channel, I'm going to try to give y'all accurate information. And so we're going to look at a couple of like the professional terms, as far as these masks are concerned and like, you know, information from professionals that tell you what you should be looking for. If you're trying to get one of these masks. Now, before we get into this, you would usually be able to order equipment from here, but I want you all to pay attention to this disclaimer they're giving attention. We do not have any dust masks in stock due to the Wuhan coronavirus outbreak in China and subsequent unprecedented sales. We are unable to supply or supply to source or supply any disposable dust masks. We do not have a date for when they will become available again. Half masks with filter cartridges are still available for industrial use. So I just want to go ahead and get that part out of the way. Let's scroll on down here to what I want you all to pay attention to. Like I said, I'm going to put links to this in the description along with two other important articles and a map that you should be checking out. Now, these are some of the safety terms used to describe these settings of masks. Respiratory protection in the form of disposable dust masks come in three respirator settings, FFP1, FFP2, and FFP3. Now that stands for filtering face piece. And the number denotes the level of protection. Many people shorten these acronyms even more as P1, P2, and P3. But the meaning and level of respiratory protection is the same. Some people refer to these ratings as respirator codes, respirator filter codes, or respirator grades. But we're essentially discussing the very same things. Now, this is the part I want you all to pay close attention to. Like I said, if you're going to get yourself one of these, it's going to be hard to find, especially the FFP3. That's the one that you would really want. Okay. And I'm going to break down why a little bit later here, but each of these types of masks will specify their suitability for occupational exposure limit or OEL and their assumed protection factor APF. Okay. Remember those terms. We use these acronyms throughout this article and they're in common use within the H and S industry. So you would well do well to try and remember them. Okay. When choosing a face mask, you need to determine which dust mask ratings you need for your workplace hazards. Although your employer should identify the hazards for you and provide the correct PPE for your home or DUI DIY hazard. Okay. Let's get on down here to the next part because see, I'm going to put this in here so you all can read over it yourself. It's a lot of good information in here. It's accurate. It's professional. And I thought that I should put this out here since a lot of people have been asking me about this on Twitter, you know, several other social media sites that I'm on. So I said, okay, let me try to find a way to put this on YouTube, you know, in a way that it will stay up and you can all check this out for yourself. Okay. So we're going to scroll down here to a very important part that I want you all to see. Okay. Now this is, this is describing the different kinds of those acronyms that we just went over denoting the categories of the dust mask types or the respirator types. I prefer the one that's a full face mask filter, but this is that level one protection. Okay. FFP one dust mask. What does a P one filter protect against? It protect, protects against low levels of dust protects against solid and liquid aerosols can be used for hand, hand sanding, drilling, and cutting. As you see, the OEL 
protects against materials and concentrations of a times four limit. The APL protects against materials and concentrations also of a times four limit. Okay, that's FLP1. This is what FLP2 protects against. All right, it protects against moderate levels of dust, protects against solid and liquid aerosols, higher protection than the FLP1, of course, this is the next level, can be used for plastering and sanding. The OEL protects against materials and concentrations of a times 12 limit. The APL protects against materials and concentrations of a times 10 limit. Okay, now, if you're going to get, again, there's a difference between the half mass respirator and a full mass respirator. If you're going to get the full mass, this is the category and class that you want right here. I have several myself because unlike a lot of people, I stay prepared for things, been preparing for a lot of stuff for a couple of years, but that's a whole nother video. FLP3 dust mask protects against higher levels of dust. It protects against solid and liquid aerosols. Higher protection than an FLP1 and an FLP2. This is the highest class that you can pretty much get. Can be used for handling hazardous powders such as those in the pharmaceutical industry. Recommended when in doubt of protection needed. The OEL protects against materials and concentrations over times 50 limit. And the APL protects against materials and concentrations over times 20 limit. Can be used as an asbestos mask. And as you see right here, this is a good part of this article for you all to click on. It gives you the current NHS guidelines that stipulate FLP face, face masks for virus and bacterial infection control when the contagion is spread, spread through aerosols, coughs and sneezes, etc. Okay, so I'm not going to drag on too long about this because like I said, I want you all to check this out for yourself. It's showing you how to choose between the face mask ratings in here. Okay, it's filled with charts to show you the different types of levels of protection. It breaks down safety requirements for you to properly fit the mask and everything. So I think you all should check this out, share it with people. Okay, and one thing about anything that goes on in black society especially with this situation, since it's involving a pathogen or contagion, try to give people accurate information. Don't go off what you heard people say, what you think, you know, all these things like that, that a lot of times we do in black society that does not help us. Okay. And see, as you see, I'm scrolling down here so you can see where this company is located. Like I said, you'll be able to check it out in the article when I put it in the description. And you see all the different types of things that they would normally sell here or what have you. But one of the things I'm going to close out on, a lot of times you know that our people like, just Google it. Let me explain something about the just Google it saying. If that's for something like you're putting together some type of little do-it-yourself project, or if you're just, you know, looking for a recipe, okay, just Google it works. But when you tell somebody just Google something without giving them an accurate starting point to look for, that's not really helpful. So that being said, family, look out for the links to everything I'm going to post in the description of this video. And I will see you all in the next video out there. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Peace, black family.